In this video, we're going to be showing you how to color things in in Blender by coloring in our snowman. We're also going to be looking at how we can copy and duplicate objects. If you're using color in Blender, we highly recommend that you go to the viewport shading, top right, and make sure you have render preview selected. We'll see why this is in a moment. We're going to be changing the color of our hat. So if we click on the hat and go and find the red hatched ball on the right hand menu system, we can change the material of the hat to something green. So we click new and we give the material that we're making a name. So I'm going to just call this felt. So this is going to be our nice green hat. So far so good, but the hat is still looking very gray. So to change the color, we click on base color and you change the color of the hat by using this circle. So there's my nice green hat for my snowman. I can do the same with the eye. I want to turn this into a coal eye. So I select the eye, I make sure we go to the red hatched circle, go to new, and let's give it the name of coal, something sensible. And under base color, I'm going to drop the lighting all the way to the bottom so we have a nice black coal eye. I can now do the same thing for the other eye. So I can go to add, mesh, UV sphere. Let's go make another eye. Move this over here. And I can go to new and so on. But to save myself some time, if I see this little drop down menu here, I can actually reuse some of the colors that I've created already. So I can reuse the cold material. So there we go, I've got two eyes. And I could keep doing that for all the buttons and so on. But there's an easier way. I could select this eye and I could just press shift and D on the keyboard and that gives me another eye or in this case a button shift D shift D shift D and I can start to build up the buttons of my snowman now it might look okay from this angle you've always got to go and check how it's looking from other angles which is pretty atrocious so I would then just move these buttons into a slightly better place to give my snowman a uh, the buttons on the front. That's fine. So Shift D duplicates. I could also, if I wanted to, a bit like using a word processor, do Control C and Control V. Now that creates another one which looks exactly the same. The only problem is it actually goes and makes another copy of the material. So if you're trying to duplicate something, try and use Shift D rather than Control C, Control V. So now we've made our snowman, we've got some colors. I'll show you what is happening up here in viewport shading. If I rotate around my scene, it's harder to see this side because the shadows are in the way. If I go back to this mode, the first mode, which is solid mode, I can actually see things much more clearly, but as you can see, there isn't any color there. So if you want to preview color while you're editing, make sure that you've got selected the render preview mode. 